My name is Colin Barrett and I'm going to read from my new short story collection, Homesickness, the opening of the first story, A Shooting in Rathfordane. Sergeant Jackie Noonan was squaring away paperwork when the call came in, just her and the gosling, Punches Swift in Ballina Garda Station. The third officer on duty, Sergeant Dennis Crane, had run out to oversee the extraction of a Renault McGann, some young lad, sober apparently, just a nervous non-local, negotiating the cat's cradle of back roads around Currabaggin had nosed into a ditch a half mile out from the National School. The car was a write-off, but the lad had got away without a scratch, according to Crane, and he was a lucky lad, because Noonan knew the roads out that way, and they were wicked. High-ditched, hilly, and altogether too narrow, scantily signposted and laced with half-hidden, acutely right-angled turns it took only a second's inattention to be ambushed by. Noonan was at her desk drinking coffee, black as a vinyl record, from a battered silver cafetiere, and transferring a weekend's worth of write-ups from her notebook into the central computer system. The weekend had been unremarkable but busy. There had been a dozen or so minor traffic infractions, a fistfight between stocious teenage cousins outside a Main Street chipper late last night, and a call out this morning, prompted by what turned out to be a man's empty duffel coat, snagged in the weir gates of the Moy River, which was enthusiastically mistaken for a body by a band of visiting American summer students and the professor taking an early constitutional along the quays. The notes executed in Noonan's irredeemable Kitog scrawl were the usual hassle to decipher, their transcription to the computer, an activity of an order of tedium Noonan nonetheless found strangely assuaging. So absorbed was she in this task that she started in surprise when the phone on the main desk first rang out. Prunches, she commanded, without looking away from the screen. The phone continued ringing. Prunches! Noonan glanced up. Prunches wasn't at his desk, he wasn't in the room. Noonan made her way over to the main desk. She snatched the handset from its cradle. Balna Garda Station, Sergeant Noonan speaking. There's been a shooting, a voice, a man's declared.